Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning. Today's topic of discussion is on KNN. Let us see one example here. Consider the training data set given below. Use KNN and classify whether the new instance belong to underweight or normal. So here in the target label, you are having two values. One is underweight and another is the normal. Okay, you can check here. All these are the discrete values, underweight, normal, underweight, normal. So in the given example, the new instance, the new instance is given as 170 and 57. And k value is also given here. Assume k equal to 5. So you have to first see what is given in the example. One column is having height, another column is having weight. And the third column is the target label. It is the class here. You need to compute. So this last two columns, what I have written from here to here distance and rank it, it is a part of the answer the first three columns will be given in the question height weight and class so these are the training data set if the height is 167 weight is 51 then you are training the algorithm that it should belong to underweight if the height is 182 weight is 62 it should be a normal category like this you have given how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 instances are there in the training data set and the new test instance in the problem statement is 170 and 57 that i have written here that means if the height is 170 and the weight is 57 then you need to find out to which category this particular new instance belong to is it underweight or normal so now you have to take like this the new instance is what given is 170 and 57 these two i am assigning it as x1 and y1 so for my new test instance i am having x1 and y1 x1 is 170 given in the problem statement 57 is given in the problem statement which is y1 then for every training data instance i will be taking the points of x2 and y2 so this is why i have written here in the red color x1 and y1 will always be the same as per the distance formula i have to use x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square x2 167 y2 51 how did i get this is given 167 and 51 and the next training instance is 182 and 62 you can check here 182 and 62 third the training instance given is 176 69 173 64 170 like this all the training values i am taking it as x2 y2 in my formula every time i have to keep this as same x1 y1 because i need to find out the distance between what test instance and the instance of the training data set so every time my i value will be ch changing whereas this will remain same so the one which remains same i am writing in red color 170 57 so here you can check 170 57 170 57 170 57 170 57 so you need to find out the distance between the test instance and the instances of the training data set once you substitute these values you will get like this 6.7 13 13.4 7.6 8.2 4.1 1.43 and 2 now out of all these things you have to see which are the smallest values how many smallest values you will collect given are 9 k value given is 5 so you have to select the five smallest values in order to select the five smallest values you will sort these distances in the ascending order so when you sort it in the ascending order the very first one will be what your 1.4 1.4 is d7 d7 will be the first one here you can check here this is 1.4 next smallest value is 2 d9 next is d8 which is how much 3 then next is d6 which is 4.1 and since k equal to 5 one more the next nearest will be 6.7 d1 okay so once you sort you got d7 on the top d9 d8 d6 and d1 now check what is the label that is there in the given problem statement d7 d7 is here which is normal then you have d9 d9 in the given this one is here normal d8 d8 is here which is normal again d6 is here which is underweight and d1 is here which is underweight so this is what after sorting you got normal 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 underweight underweight the same computations i have done here and included in this table only you can check here i have written the distances then i have sorted 
and given this is the first value the second one third one fourth one and fifth one so and check the corresponding label first one is having normal the second one is having normal third one is having normal fourth one is having underweight and fifth one is having underweight this is what i have written here so out of this majority is normal okay we have got five values here out of five three are normal and two are underweight so majority is three three what is the target value normal so if that is the case then we have taken k equal to 5 in that 3 were normal 2 were underweight so majority is normal hence the algorithm will predict the class label as normal for the new category new instance was given as 170 and 57 here 170 and 57 for which now the algorithm has predicted as normal so i'll write the value here normal this is your output the last row which i am including here in the column is your output <coughs> So, but while writing the solution, you should write all the steps in detail. So, this is what I have written. Like this, you have to write down new instance. The class is normal. How did you get? Because you have assumed k equal to 5. So, 3 normal, 2 underweight, majority is normal. Hence, class label is normal. But how did you get? You write this table also. The top 5 values which you got. Okay. Then you can write down the conclusion statement as majority is normal. Hence, the new instance 170,57 belongs to the class normal. So, the way value of k is playing an important role here. I will show you few illustrations where how the k value is getting affected with the predicted value. You can check in this example, there are two classes, class A and class B. Class A is with yellow circle and B is with, this is your test instance. So, you want to decide whether this star belongs to the class A category or class B category. So, if you take the value for k equal to 3, that means you are just checking the nearest 3 neighbors. When you check, you got here these 3 okay, included. And out of that majority is your what? The purple. So, the new test instance belong to the class B category. In case if you take k equal to 6, that means now you are choosing 6 nearest neighbors. If you choose 6 nearest neighbors, then the you can check here this 4 of yellow that means 4 of class a gets included and 2 of class b gets included now the majority is the yellow which is the class a hence the algorithm will predict that the new test instance now belong to class a category so you might have seen the significance of selecting the value of k properly the mo so the moment you took k equal to 3 the algorithm predicted the new test instance that means this new test instance belong to the class b category moment you took k equal to c the algorithm predicted that it belongs to the class b category so the selecting the value for k is a very challenging job in machine learning presently in the numericals the value for k will be given so it is easy for you all to compute and give the output or write the output but when you are executing when you are carrying out a project work then there you need to take care so that you select the value of k appropriately I am just telling you how to select the value of k in k in an algorithm. We need to try some values to find the best out of them. Mostly k equal to 5 is preferred. I am talking k equal to 5 is preferred with respect to the example which I have explained because the number of instances in the training data set also matters. If k equal to 1 or k equal to 2, it is a low value. It can be noisy and it can lead to the effects of outliers in the model. This explanation is with respect to the example that i have explained in this session where number of instances in the training data set were 9 so we have taken k equal to 5 so that's why i am writing here mostly k equal to 5 is preferred in this case if k equal to 1 or k equal to 2 it is a low value it can be noisy and it leads to the effects of the outliers of the model and for that i have shown here also in the same algorithm just for your understanding suppose if i had taken k equal to 1 then the class label i am getting is normal if i am taking k equal to 2 i am getting the class label as normal if k equal to 3 i am getting the class label as normal k equal to 4 then i am getting the class label as again normal because there are three normal and one underweight majority is normal and it, the output is normal whereas if k equal to 5 I am getting 3 normal and 2 underweight. So, the majority is normal and hence the output is normal. So, the value of k that I have explained just now, how to choose the value of the k, I have taken k equal to 5. That is with respect to the example that is explained in this session. Now, in general, what is that you have to do? How to select the value of k in KNN algorithm? This value of k, if we take it as very large, 
in the extreme case how large in the extreme case equal to the total number of records in the training data suppose if you are taking whatever is the number of data points given in the example that number is equal to k then how do you decide the level the class level of the majority class of the training data set will be assigned to the test data this if the value of k is very small that is in the extreme case equal to 1 in this case if you take k equal to 1 k equal to 1 means definitely when you try to sort all the data points after you calculate the distances the topmost that comes on the list whatever label it carries that label will be assigned to the test data but what exactly happens is that value will be what it will be a noisy data or outlier in the training data set k having a very large value is also not preferable and k having a very small value is also not preferable so the best k value is somewhere between these two extremes so this is what you have to remember while selecting the value of k in knn algorithm so hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care